What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another MLB 21 The Show Diamond Dynasty video. May Player of the Month is here. We're going to show how you can get a free 96 overall Marcus Simeon along with a ton of other free diamond cards, free packs, another free 42 series player. There's a lot going on. We're going to get right on into it. Now if you guys have found this channel, you're new here, you're looking for help in Diamond Dynasty, you're looking how to make free uh, packs or earn free cards earn free packs make a lot of stubs anything diamond dynasty related make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button to this channel and if this video is helpful it's helping my channel grow a ton this is a second channel that started out very small but you guys are showing a ton of support and i really appreciate it if you find this video helpful please do me a favor helps me a ton if you just go ahead and click that thumbs up let's talk about may player of the month so to get there all you got to do is go to programs over to the right monthly awards and we're looking at may now just like the byron buxton set last month there are tons of cards that you can earn for free we're going to talk about it here so this is the reward grid is what i like to call it and the currency that you need to earn here are these monthly reward tokens that's what we'll call them as you earn more tokens you earn free packs and cards so we got a bunch of diamonds i'm going to scroll through it really quick we got one two three four five six seven eight nine free diamonds to earn you don't have to spend any money to get all of these cards including a 96 overall marcus simeon here he is contact against righties 125 against lefties 88 power numbers 93 against right 108 against left uh clutch is 100 his discipline 74 his vision is very low at 57 i don't like that uh durability 99 he's got diamond hitting diamond defense as well 73 speed fielding attributes look pretty solid on the card so here it is 96 overall remember with the parallel system you can add up to five overall or i'm sorry plus five on all attributes in the game on the card so you can get him to 78 speed you can get that power versus righties closer to 100 at 98 contact against lefties to 93 if you do it right uh but this card's free so let's talk about how you can earn it and i'll work my way a little bit backwards on these rewards so the one that stood out to me here is at 90 you get a choice pack for any 42 card if you're like me right now you're trying to get that jackie robinson set done the 99 overall jackie robinson these cards are really expensive so number one i hope this helps the market on these and number two it's another card that i can get for free uh less stubs i have to spend to get jackie robinson done zach wheeler he's got a 94 i'm not going to go through all the attributes on all of these cards we'll take a look at the top couple of them uh but again you can earn all of these for free just simply by playing the game and we'll show you how he's got 97 uh break 99 velocity control 86 Hits per nine is 92, Ks per nine, 82. I, I think this card's actually pretty solid. He's probably going to be a starter in most of your rotations. This is a good card, in my opinion. We got Jose Abreu, who's got, you know, solid contact and hitting power. Uh, Vision's kind of awful at 58. Clutch 125, diamond hitting, bronze defense. There is his card. Corey Kluber, he's got hits per nine is at 111. Uh, I thought his break, oh no, his break is 99. I was looking in the wrong place. So 99 break, 92 control. Off-speed pitches are very, very frustrating. A lot of change up, slurve, cutter. He's got some good pitches here. I think this card could be pretty glitchy as well for all you no money spent players. Uh, and then here are the rest of the cards. Now the other rewards or things that you're going to get throughout these are these tops now moment choice packs so there's one there one at 35 one at 55 one at 65 one at 75 these are very important because you're going to need these to basically get your marcus simeon there's just no way to get that card without these tops now cards i'll show you in a moment because there's a collection and if you prepped for this collection you're you're good right if you've been listening to my videos and watching them you're good to get all of these rewards, you need 100 of the monthly, the May monthly reward token. So missions are various things that you can do within games to earn these monthly tokens. So I'm not going to go through all of them. This is where you find them, though. There are a total of 62 tokens that can be earned here. You got total bases with Tops Now players, a bunch of missions with Tops Now players, and then specific missions with the specific cards that got May Player of the Month. So for example i saw jesse winker's name on there i thought he would get a higher overall 
Here is Jesse Winker's card if you're wondering. He's balling out of control this year. 89 overall diamond. Basically, you earn the Jesse Winker or the Austin Meadows. You look at missions. Scroll down here a little bit. You got to get three extra base hits with that Austin Meadows. You got to get uh, two home runs with the Jesse Winker. So once you collect or earn these May player cards, you're going to then want to put them into a lineup, start playing with them. You can play the rookie on or the computer on rookie, go against the Orioles. That's what everybody does. You can play Conquest and you want to earn these individual missions because these are going to give you those monthly rewards towards 100. Now, the first thing you should do is play the moments because you don't need any cards. You don't need anything to get these uh, done. They give you the player and the situation. You can get a total of 36 tokens from this. So what that means is 36 from knocking out these moments, 62 from knocking out all the missions. If you add that all up, it equals 98, which means you can't get the Marcus Simeon done unless you do the collection. And the collection is going to be the most expensive thing if you're trying to not play other missions. And I'll explain in a moment here. Uh, the missions, if you collect 38 of these various Tops Now cards from the month of May, and then also the Player of the Month cards, uh, we got the 91 Ryan Tapera. We got Brandon Crawford. There's the Jesse Winker. There's the Austin Meadows. So I don't think it's every single May player of the month card if I'm missing something here. But there are five of them I think we counted correctly. So you have to collect 38 cards. Remember, collecting doesn't mean you're losing the card. And you can put cards in multiple collections. I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, but you do have to collect all 38 of these. The good thing is with these Tops Now cards, you see I have some invested because they're going to go up in price. At least I hope they do because I've been preparing for this. Um, you can earn all of these cards for free. Now you get a bunch of the Tops Now packs that are needed for those cards throughout these rewards, right? But also you can go back through, let me back out here, and you can go over to single player modes, go to moments, go down to tops now, and you can earn these rewards here too. And you're basically going to have to do these. If you don't want to spend any stubs, you got to knock these out. There's various moments when you complete the whole section, you get this tops now pack. It's a choice pack. Most of these packs have three cards in them. So you can't get every card from each individual week. But if you do these moments plus the player of the month moments, or not moments, I'm sorry, the player of the month reward grid, remember that we showed you, that is going to have all of the packs that you need in order to get the the cards to collect. So right here, right here. So basically you need to do your regular tops now moments and you need to knock out these objectives, okay, to get yourself these packs that are gonna give you free cards. And then also you need these diamonds to earn the various missions throughout. So the best route in my opinion here is we know you have to do the collection. The collection is going to give you 15 uh, of your tokens. Number two, I would highly recommend doing all of the moments because the moments you don't need any cards. You don't need anything but to load into the moment and complete it. OK, so if you complete all the moments plus the collection, that's going to total 51 of the 100 tokens you need. That means out of the missions, you only need 49 out of a possible 62. So technically, you don't even need to complete all of these, but you need to complete the large majority of them. But I got to say it again, there's absolutely no way to get to Marcus Simeon without doing the collections. And there's no way to do the collections without spending stubs unless you play all of your Tops Now moments and you earn all of the Tops Now packs all the way up to 75. So it's going to be a bit of a grind. Again, I would recommend uh, going in, knocking out all the moments here. That's going to give you 36. Once you get to 36, that gets you right here. So that's going to give you uh, three Tops Now players. And then a May player, a second May player, now six tops now players, and three May players. So a total, when you get to the 36 tokens, just for moments, you're getting basically six players from tops now, three players from the month of May. You can then put all of those cards in a lineup and start knocking out these missions. As you knock out those missions, you're going to move further, further down here, and you're going to start getting to these packs and these additional cards that you need in order to get down to Marcus Simeon. I'm going to be live streaming tonight. My Twitch channel is right here on your screen. Make sure you guys give me a follow. We're going to be grinding May Player of the Month to get this 96 overall Marcus Simeon. So if you want to come through, hang out, and watch me do that, feel free to come by. Go give me a follow on Twitch as well. Make sure you turn that notification bell on so you are alerted when I go live. Okay, now some more content did come out today other than just the Player of the Month stuff. 
if you go to programs and you go to the third inning program, the active program we're in right now, they did add a new collection and it's for the May monthly rewards. So all you have to do is collect these four monthly guys. Remember collecting, I'm sorry, you don't even need four. You need three of the four. Remember, collecting does not mean you lose this card. Exchanging does, but we're not doing that. So you can put these cards in this collection, plus that May Player of the Month collection that required 38 cards, and it'll go in both times. You collect three of these cards, you're going to earn yourself, I think it was, what, 20K? 20K towards your third inning program. That's a pretty big boost. So this is one you're going to want to knock out as well. So that's good stuff there. And then the last thing that was added in today, like we see pretty much every single Tuesday, is a brand new pack. We got a set 15 headliners pack. So if we go ahead and take a look at it here, of course, 7,500 stubs per usual. You can buy up to five of them. They do not guarantee you a silver card. So I would stay away from this pack if you're no money spent or don't have a ton of stubs to blow. It does contain, though, a very, very nice card, a 95 overall signature Carlos Santana. You can see he's one of the featured items on the bottom right. There's also a throwback Oakland A's uniform, an alternate one, I should say. Uh, but here is the Carlos Santana. He's a switch hitting catcher, which, you know, seems to be really good in this game. Matt Wieters, Jorge Posada. Now we got Carlos Santana. The only thing is, I mean, it's got diamond hitting, right? His power numbers kind of stink. His contact, I mean, all right, he's good against contact against lefties, power against righties. His contact against righties stinks. His power against lefties isn't great, and his defense isn't that great as well. I personally think I'm still rolling with Jorge Posada over this card. I don't think this card will be extremely expensive. It doesn't look like it's a 95 overall, in my opinion. Solid in a lot of places, but doesn't stand out a ton. No stats above 100 on it other than discipline at 125. I wouldn't be buying this card, but I think it's going to be very affordable because it's in a headliners pack. And that's pretty much it for the content. So go start grinding out that player of the month stuff again. Start with the mission. I'm sorry. Start with the moments. Then as you collect those cards and get those tops now packs, then move over and knock out those missions and you'll have that Marcus Simeon in no time. We're going to start our grind for it right now. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.